The tensions we have in Nave boiled up everywhere. The whole area. The new wineskins bursting the old. So Philip said that the wineskins were bursting, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but I do like to point out when you look in Matthew's version of the parable of the wineskins mm. that they were talking about in a previous episode. Was it last episode, maybe? Yeah. So new wine must be put into fresh wineskins. I'll be the first one to admit that. I don't, don't get it. Yeshua actually says that both were preserved. Like he was saying, you don't put uh, new wine into old wineskins or it will burst. Right. Throughout Christian history, they've mm -hmm. used that passage sometimes mm -hmm. as this replacement theology to say, hey, the Jews have been replaced. That's right. the old wineskin. And now we've got the new wineskin. Mm, this is good. Keep going. But in Matthew's version, it actually says at the end, the reason you don't put the old wine and the new is to preserve both the wineskins. Cool. I've never picked up yeah. on that. That's important here. Yeah. So it's not that, you know, Yeshua isn't saying that he that he didn't, you know, care about the Jewish people or the Jewish leadership or something mm -hmm. like that or right. the traditions even. Mm -hmm. But he is saying that he needed these younger guys yeah. who weren't the religious leaders in order to yep. really fully understand what he was saying. Right. I think it's important to just point that out because it's been really misrepresented uh, so often mm -hmm. in Christian teaching. Right, right. And not a like out with the old, in with the new type of right. thing. Like he's this covenantally faithful God right. as well. So exactly. he's this God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's faithful right. to those covenants. Right. And yet he's he's starting some some new stuff. Exactly. <laughs> you know, It's both and, exactly. right? Which is right. very much a biblical messianic yes. worldview. It's yes. the both and. and yes. But it's the more here. Mm -hmm. But he's not just doing away with that, right? He's the Messiah of Israel, exactly. right? He's the king of the Jews. Exactly. In fact, he's killed for being the king of the Jews. Exactly. So that's important that he came in right. time and history to the Jewish people, fulfilling all the prophecies. Exactly. Right? Not doing away with the prophecies, mm -hmm. but being the embodiment of yeah. the prophecy. And he took on Jewish flesh, and he remains that. Exactly. Forever. Forever. Which is, you know, that, some people, that doesn't click. Right. But it's like, no, that that's... I that's didn't what click he for me. Like yeah. that's a new revelation for me. You right. know, I wasn't raised with that understanding at Neither all. Neither was I. If you like our videos, please help us spread a biblical messianic worldview by donating to Grafted. Hey Sam. Red light. Red light. Camera is going past the speed limit. Camera is speeding. All right, you gonna say it. The Roman dar, if you will. Rodar. Rodar. <laughs>